Chief White House Correspondent John Roberts now from the North Lawn with new details on this, John. Harris, yeah, and we'll get to the details about George Papadopoulos in just a second. But first of all, to that phone call that you mentioned at the beginning of the program uh, between President Trump and Vladimir Putin, they did talk on the phone for more than an hour. It was the first time I'm told by officials in a very long time that the two have spoken to each other. They talked at length about Venezuela, the need for a peaceful transition there, and the importance of immediately getting food, water, and medicine to people there who are starving and sick. Listen to what Sarah Sanders said about it just a short time ago. The president's primary focus uh, throughout the call was about helping the people of Venezuela, making clear that the United States stands with the people of Venezuela and the importance of making sure uh, those individuals are able to get the food and the water and the medical supplies needed. The two leaders also talked about the possibility of extending existing nuclear agreements and perhaps even cutting a new deal that would include the United States, Russia, and possibly China. That might go to intermediate range nuclear missiles. They also talked about North Korea, Ukraine, and trade. The president, as you mentioned, also briefly uh, talked about the Mueller report, mostly from the standpoint that it's over with and it's time to get on to business. Now, in terms of that George Papadopoulos story, President Trump has insisted for almost a couple of years now that his campaign was being spied on uh, in terms of the Russia investigation. And this would seem to add a lot of credence to those claims. Papadopoulos uh, had uh, been talking to a Cambridge, uh, and this is Cambridge in the UK, uh, professor who uh, had uh, sent ostensibly an assistant to go meet with Papadopoulos. Uh, her name uh, was uh, Azra Turk. She claimed to be an assistant to uh, this uh, Cambridge professor. Papadopoulos uh, met with her at a bar in London after she invited him to come out. Papadopoulos told Tucker Carlson last night that he immediately became suspicious of her. She was very suggestive, as you can understand. Um, younger, you know, very flirtatious, and I right away understood that this wasn't a Cambridge uh, assistant. And, uh, you know, she barely spoke English, she was very flirty, and was trying to do two things. One, to extract information about my professional connections uh, in the Middle East, and two, to see if uh, I had in any information that she could potentially extract from me about Trump in Russia, which of course is nonsense. Now, we may find out more details about this and other events when the Department of Justice Inspector General Michael Horowitz releases his report about the genesis of the Russia investigation. The president also telling our Catherine Herridge yesterday that he plans to declassify the documents related to the FISA warrants in the Russia investigation. Listen here. Yes, I'm going to be uh, allowing declassification pretty soon. I didn't want to do it originally because I wanted to wait, because I know what they, you know, I've seen the way they play. They play very dirty. So I decided to do it, and I'm going to be doing it very soon, far more than you would have even thought. However, the president did not say when soon is. But this whole report, Harris, would seem to reinforce the notion that the federal government one, was using clandestine uh, procedures to investigate the Trump campaign uh, which would give a lot of credence to what the president was saying about the potential for spying and also what the attorney general said up on Capitol Hill a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, Last I wrote down that word spying as you were speaking yeah. it because I think that's what a lot of people might be thinking today. John Roberts, thank you very much.